Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Thank you very much for coming by the channel once again to see some more Captain Tsubasa Dream Team. I'm the homie Nako, bringing you in this video quick analysis before the anniversary begins of the whatever transfers are available at this time as of May 30th, 2023. And you know, the boundary break system and everything is about to change. I am going to pull on this Dream Fest. I'm going to pull at least uh, just 100 Dream Balls. I don't want to go too crazy. As you see, I only have 807. But I have like 113 of those are paid. But I'm just waiting for the reset here because as you see, I've only used 30 Dream Balls so far. And if I pull now, whatever Dream Balls I pull right now are not going to do any good for me here at all. I won't even reach the silver rank. So I'm going to wait for this to reset. Um, the changes will happen June 2nd, so I will have one day to be able to pull on these so that they count towards next month's uh, Dream Ball rank. And so I'm going to pull, well, I'll tell you right now as I go through the transfers. And so because the anniversary is coming up, I'll be pulling through, out through that as well, I'm pretty sure. So I want those Dream Balls to accumulate and count, count towards that premium rank so that I can increase the the type of reward improve the type of reward that i can get at the end of the month for june all right so let's see based on the transfers that we have right now okay the last one i did on this i did not do uh an analysis on this one so this one came out right after well as you see this is part two i did do an analysis on part one but this one well there's very little time left i'll do a quick one okay so pretty much, depending on your dream balls, of course, the main reason why you would probably want to maybe possibly pull here, but I don't know if you want to pull that much just for one skill. And that's in case you're using a Roberto of some sort. This is the strongest uh, volley skill that he has uh, at 520. The only thing is that, again, I don't know that it's worth it to try and spend 220 dream balls for an opportunity just to get that skill in case you're using the green Roberto from the Dream Festival or the red one. Both are good. <clears throat> but again, just for the skill alone, I don't think so. And then to use this player, even in a debuff, I guess in a debuff team, he will be relatively decent. Okay, 60% chance. He's a plus three minus four guy, plus 20 in the penalty area. And then he also has mid area master. And so if you do, let's say, if you successfully dribble from the mid area, then you get the 20% boost from there and then the 20% here. So you know, but even then you don't have a ground shot. So you have to have uh, one of the previous Robertos to be able to do, uh, to get access to his most powerful shot. Otherwise, you're going to have to yes or yes, rely on a volley or a uh, high ball shot, which isn't too bad of a thing, actually, just because of the fact that even this Genzo, I don't remember. I don't think that Genzo has a ground shot killer, but you know, most go a lot of the goalkeepers tend to come with that. So I would expect I wouldn't be surprised that some of the anniversary goalkeepers come with that. Let's see. Does this one have it or not? Nah, he doesn't even have it. So maybe I'm just imagining it. I guess. I guess. Uh, this Salinas, if you compare him to like other goalkeepers, I don't think that he'll be worth pulling for. <clears throat> Let's go with uh, Japan. And... Okay, so the main ones are this one and... This can and this can so. Okay, catch. We just slightly below Genzo and slightly below uh Zeno. For what's his face? Wakashimasu doesn't matter because of his punching skill, that's where he stands out. Okay. Let's see. 
This is the top goalkeeper, basically, and Zeno. Okay, his technique's not too bad. His speed isn't too bad. His power's not too bad. Okay, he's just slightly below in catch. Not too shabby, I suppose. And since both of these are practically the same. Speed and power. And his punch, of course. I don't think you see too many. Oops! I don't think you see too many teams use the Salinas though. I don't think. Let's just bomb that. Okay, plus five. Safety zone minus ten percent stamina only. That's the thing. It's just that he doesn't get like really big boosts in the way that Zeno does. So even though he's a little bit below Zeno. <coughs> Zeno does get a significant boost against Rising Sun players and against uh, club players. And then also Genso gets that 20% or 18% against forwards. Um, so, you know, those are ways that they increase their stats. Uh, full body stand might be good, but it's only at 15%, so it's not a huge boost. It would have been nice if they would have given them given him like a stamina reduction. Something other than just through safety zone. You know, and even that safety zone wasn't that much, just 10%. So, you know, he's okay at best. I guess if you're really, really desperate for a goalkeeper, but the new anniversary is coming up around the corner, so why? I'm pretty sure there might be a new Mueller, a new Ken, or a new Salinas, a new Zeno, something that hopefully might be usable. Maybe a Calusias of some sort. Okay, let's see. We got Marcio... See, the only thing is that right here, I'm not convinced by this physical right here. I still think that's low by today's standards. Defense and, I'm um, sorry, attack one intercept. All right. I guess he gets a boost, but it's only 20%. That's not too shabby, I suppose. This is very low, too. Only plus 5%. Stamina killer was how much? Plus 25. Okay, that's annoying. Recover 70%, okay. And at least he has auto intercept, only 60%, though. Mm. Plus 5, okay. I mean. And he's a defensive midfielder. Nah, nah. There's much better defensive midfielders to pull for. So I would not recommend this banner. Um, I guess, unless he also wanted this guy's skill, Salinas, in case they make a. Right now that they brought out, what's his face, uh, Diaz, and he's a JY player, right? And I think Salinas has like a, one of the Dreamfest version was a JY player. The one with the, what is that catch called? Um, <clears throat> whatever his catch is from the Dreamfest, from the first Dream Festival unit. Um, maybe they bring out another JY Salinas for the Super Dream Festival. I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't seem like they have any specific direction right now. I mean, they brought out middle school Japanese players. Every time, though, it's the it's the anniversary, though, it seems to be Rising Sun and stuff like that, right? To feature the national teams. So does that mean that Zeno will still remain the top goalkeeper? Man, I wish I had pulled Zeno. Oh, well. Looks like he's going to be top for a good while then. Uh, okay, so not recommend. Not recommend. This one. Now, this is one that I am going to pull on. However, because anniversary is just a couple of days away, I'm only going to pull on the paid banner. Five steps. That's it. Hoping that I get lucky. That's it. But this banner is not too bad. Now, the thing is that here, this Ribaul. Let's see. Uh, what did I like about him? Well, more than anything, I want him because I don't have that flapping dribble. Oops, I have the shot. I don't have the flapping dribble, so I want the skill. I would like the stronger, uh, what's it called? The stronger tackle skill as well, just to have access to it. This one seems to be okay to try and counter Zeno. However, uh, I don't know. These are still going to be too low, I think. So it'll probably negate some of what Zeno does in terms of the boost. 
But I think Zeno's still powerful enough that um, this Raul might not be capable of scoring on him. Even then, this catch killer is only plus 5%. And then you have this, the combination spill scores only 5%. So how how effectively he might score on Zeno, I don't know. Maybe his greatest asset right here is the fact that he has the support Tsubasa at 60% rate. And you know that if you have Super Dream Festival Tsubasa, like I do, it's going to be very annoying for your opponent to have to try and worry about this Rivaul bringing in Tsubasa every now and then. And possibly stealing the ball and then what Tsubasa doing what Tsubasa does. Except against Zeno, you know, that's not his, his strength. Uh, so, you know, <clears throat> it could be kind of annoying right there. Okay. Now, let's see. For Yanista, for if you're running a debuff team, because I think that's what he has. I guess he's all right. The only thing is that if you're running a debuff team, then you're pulling on a banner that has... Um, Two buff players and only one debuff as opposed to a dedicated debuff banner so you're taking a risk right there 80 percent auto intercept is nice then if you come into a matchup and you lose you debuff them by eight percent recover is okay at 50 percent indomitable so just in case you know you lose up the, you lose the matchup aside from the fact that you debuff them one the next time around you have plus 20% stats. So, you know, he's a decent unit. I think he'll be pretty good. It's just that the banner placement makes it difficult to recommend pulling up to 220 Dream Balls. Especially with the anniversary a couple of days away. Who knows what kind of debuff players they'll be introducing in case that they're going to continue this uh, direction that they're going right now. With uh, the varied selection of debuff players that have been coming out. But I mean, that's not a bad thing, I guess. Uh, it's not my cup of tea. I don't want to pull for debuff players. Um, but they're interesting. They're interesting. Um, but we'll see if this anniversary features a mixture of both buff players or bond players and debuff players. And uh, we'll see. We'll see. Now for this S Rams. The problem I see here with him. Yes, he's a very nice blocker, but I don't like that his tackle and intercept. They're roughly 10k, but they're not 10k. Almost 10k, but they're not 10k. He's saved by the fact that he has auto intercept right here. It's only 80% though. Um, I was going to say, <clears throat> well, right here. You don't have to lament the fact too much that he only has one skill of each because of the fact that he has skill block cancel right here. Up to two special skills. So this is forgivable. Or this is doable. This makes him very usable. Uh, right off the gate. Yes. The only thing is that I wish it would have been just block two special skills and not just specifically two shooting special skills. No, I'm not a big fan of that. This is crazy though. 35%. I think this is the highest stat boost that we've seen. No, I shouldn't say that. Because a white on gets, but that's at that's only an inside master, 50%, right? And then there's also G Thor 75. Okay, okay, okay. But just from a matchup standpoint of facing up against a specific uh field player. To boost yourself by 35%, that's pretty crazy. That's a lot. Forwards and AM. So, you know, the fact that he's kind of quote unquote low right here at less than 10,000 or roughly, or let's just call it 10K then. 10K for intercept, 10K for tackle. That 35% boost is going to bring him automatically up to like 13,000, right? 13,500 or so. So. That plus, you know, the boundary breaks and all that will put him at a very, very nice uh, position to be able to cause some damage. So he's, you know, he's not a bad defender, I don't think. And then his bond activates just by using, uh, doesn't require skill type, uh, what's it called? Club players, just skill type non-Japanese players. 
which still makes it like because mm, you know how a lot of them have been like just two of the same color but this is all right this is all right it's doable it's doable the conditions are not too bad so these units are not necessarily bad however with the anniversary around the corner you just have to check what do you need what are your uh what are the holes in your team how long can you wait this banner i forgot when it was introduced but according to this there's about eight days left plus the 24 hour mark so realistically close to like nine days or something like that all right unless it's 1106 p.m right now it might say seven days remaining once it hits 12 a.m so uh it's possible that's only seven plus the 24 hours so yeah maybe about eight days whatever all right but this one you can wait you can hold off you don't have to pull all right me personally i want to pull but again on the paid one because of the what i mentioned that i want the skills for the time being for the moment i do not have dream fest the dream fest revival that's available right now through the radar which is why i want to pull on the dream festival and i'm only going to pull to 100 because again the anniversary is right there you see i only have 694 of the free dream balls we're on uh almost gonna get the reset from the online stuff and i didn't play as much as i should have so i'm only gonna be able to claim 36 which will bring me at 730 so you know just because i'll have an okay amount of dream balls doesn't mean that i want to go all crazy on this dream festival that's out right now but i do want a chance to get that rivaul he would fit very 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 well into my team right now because i'm already using a blue rivaul from the previous anniversary but unfortunately for me he's not as useful as i would like for him to be and the dream fest rival would be a huge upgrade a huge upgrade to my team so uh, maybe 150 maybe 150 150 is originally what i had in my mind but then i'm thinking like nah the anniversary though i just want 100 but rival that dream fest one is a very good unit for i need units to be able to move push the ball forward and have high stats in the midfield to be able to recover the ball as well so uh he would fit perfectly into my team now uh yeah be mindful where you're spending your dream balls and again like you know some of these if any if all three of these players fit in there and you have plenty to spare and you want to go up to 220 fine go for it but you know for me personally that's why i just been purchasing the dollar dream ball sales the dollar dream ball sales and that's how i've been managing to be able to bring up to 113 especially because a lot of the transfers too that they were releasing they were not allowing the paid options right from what i recall i wasn't seeing any step up uh paid banners so you know well the few of them that were available i don't remember pulling on them because i don't remember making videos so you know i was just i managed to save up quite a bit i just save up quite a bit so i will spend 30 on here but like i mentioned i'm gonna wait for the premium ranking to reset all right now dream festival dream festival this is the new unit the juan diaz match winning young ace argentina junior youth so the fact that he's junior youth auto makes automatically makes him a counter to G, uh, Zeno, uh or gino whatever Zeno. okay he's actually not bad at 13k and 13k per shot and for power um rivaul We'll see, Rivaul is actually like, I don't care that his shot isn't, I don't think he's as good, but his dribble is like at 14k and his pass is like at 14k, his tackles at like 14k and intercept as well as like at 14k. So he's very good for a Bond player. For uh, this one, I guess he's pretty nice for a debuff player. He also boosts himself, let me see. Well, he has penalty area shooter. The good thing about this one is that it's 100%, not that 80% stuff or whatever. I don't like that. I don't like that for penalty area shooter. That's whack. Penalty and vital area master. So he has a 15% boost to be able to try and get himself into the penalty area to take a shot from anywhere there. So he's not restricted to... Oh, yeah, he is restricted to the vital area. <laughs> okay. So one, two, range enhanced, 25% to help him get into the penalty area. Okay, skill block cancel and tenacity. So okay, like I'm saying, it seems like he should be okay. Or let's see how he compares though 
to uh, Margus because Margus is quite the unit for the debuff teams. So let's see. Go with Germani. Okay. So you see the shot and the power are roughly the same. He's a stronger tackler. Intercept is a little bit better for Diaz. Marcus is faster. Passing and dribbling is better for Diaz. So, you know, for a debuff player, he would be good. So long as you're putting, a, you're able to put in a really high debuff. As a matter of fact, the other day I was playing my league matches and I could have sworn that I took a screenshot of somebody in their league team. They had like minus 72% debuff or something like that. I don't know that that's possible. I don't think that I'm imagining it. I could have sworn 72%. That's crazy. So, you know, you can imagine if you're able to put in this guy in there. I think bringing down your opponent, let's say you're even 60 something percent. I think, you know, if, uh, it's going to be. It's gonna be crazy it's gonna be crazy hopefully there's some shield players coming up as well because otherwise the debuff meta will be pretty insane pretty insane so if you're running debuff if you're dedicated to debuff well that's where you're gonna probably take some chances in case you didn't pull for Margus already if you already have Margus then I don't see the need to pull here for this uh, uh, Diaz unless you're a really big fan of Diaz and again you know you're being mindful of your dream balls because anniversary is coming up all right. Uh, I already analyzed this guy before and this guy before when they were first released, so I won't go over them again. But like, let me show you though. Let me show you. Like, you see, this guy's only at 12, 11, and 11. However, he has a huge power stat. But still, nonetheless, uh, penalty of your master 20%. All right. Catch killer, matchup master. The best thing about this guy is his auto intercept reduced right here because it applies to the entire opponent's team. That's his best thing right here. That's his saving grace right there. Wow. Otherwise, he's just okay for the most part. See, he's even lower than, than Diaz is all around. And this is for a bond player. Okay, so now look at Rivaul. 14 dribble, 14 pass, 14 tackle, 13, almost 14 intercept. And his physical is not bad. See, 35. That's why I see a lot of other units, like the whatever we we're looking at earlier, that they were like below 30k. It's like, nah, man. You need to be at least at 30k to be usable in physicality. And even this guy, defense 34k, considering that he's a forward and AM, that's pretty significant. But I love this right here. The dribble and pass. Just because, you know, like I said, I want another playmaker. And then an additional shot option whenever it's possible or whenever the opportunity presents itself. Uh, all right. So that's it there for this analysis. I will be pulling on... The, uh, I'll do these off camera my team tickets I'll pull those I think I need to wait till just right before maintenance happens I'll pull these tickets I'll do five page step up on this one and then I will do uh, a hundred, maybe 150 on this one, but we'll see. Okay. Thank you very much. I don't think I asked you to like, subscribe and comment. I hope that you consider that. And, uh, yeah, I better get to going quickly because I still need to record in Espanol and then I'm a little tired and I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a long day ahead of me tomorrow. I had a really long day today with meetings and meetings and trainings and, therapy now yay i started my therapy again 
virtual is different though i prefer one to one in person but hey at this point i'll take whatever i can get because it's something is better than nothing and i have been putting it out for too long so i guess you know i'm happy to start my first of 16 and then we'll see how it goes from there so please take care of yourselves take care of yourselves try and make yourselves happy try and make yourself smile and try and you know maybe do that to others as well you know uh bringing a smile to other people's faces is pretty nice it's a good feeling and you know but you also have to be able to find the time and ways to make yourself smile and i think that's where i screw up sometimes you know but anyway i got 15 more sessions to go so i'll be discussing that later for now let's just please practice kindness let's be respectful let's be responsible let's be safe let's take care of yourselves and each other with much love and peace. Till the next video, homies.